Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Spider ball, my favorite item. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at this thing. I also think it, it just makes you look way cooler. Dude, she just freaking clipped through the... Okay, James, show that in slow-mo. She just freaking clipped through the ball. Now, sew it in slow-mo, but speed it up. So it's like 1.3 times speed. So you mean normal speed? <laughs> no, one point... No, point six six percent so, Wait, six sixty six percent Anyway, And play this to it. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Uh, I remembered something. You were telling me one other thing that you wanted to talk about with the uh, your friend Mary Anne. Chan. Yeah. So, so there's something I completely forgot to talk about with uh, Mary Chan, the girl who I'm a uh, well, woman who's uh, helping me with my voice acting videos. So one thing I forgot to mention. This this is actually really cool. So the 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 way I met her, I actually hired her. They got in a bar fight. <laughs> she sued him over it. I hired her to walk my dog. I hired her as a dog walker, and so she would walk Cody once a day for a while. Cody the puppy can. While I was at work. And the right the day that I met her, once we got done talking about, you know, dog stuff and whatever, I told her that I make YouTube videos. I make royal goobs. I showed her royal goobs, and she thought it was really funny. And then I showed her some of my voice acting videos and on Slick Frame, and she, she told me something. She said, wow, you know what? That's one of the things on my bucket list. I want to do some kind of voice acting before I die. That's just something I really want to do. And I was like, really? And I later found out she met Rob Paulson, the guy who played Yakko on Animaniacs. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, but but so, so yeah, then I said, well, hey, do you want to do some voice acting with me sometime? You can do that. She was like, really? I'm like, yeah, dude, I, I need a female voice for a lot of my stuff. So, yeah, that would be a big help. So the fact that like I got to have her come in and you know help her do something on her bucket list, that felt really good because she 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 texted me after we were done. She said, "Dude, I had a blast. That was so great." Her her husband didn't find the videos as funny, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. Different strokes for different folks. But you know, it, it was super cool to get to have a fun experience and get some good work done and you know share it with somebody else and give them a fun experience. So Mary Chan, if you're watching. Glad I could do that with you, and I can't wait to keep working with you. Sweet! Yeah. That is cool. Um, I I have not really had, like, a desire, per se, to do voice acting, but uh, I'd totally be down to do a voice sesh sometime. Dude, I'd love, I'd love for you to be in some of my comic dub, <clears throat> dub videos. Yeah, baby. Mm. I can make some cool voices with my nose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, here's the thing. That's there, my nose trumpet. There, there was... <laughs> there, there was, um... <laughs> There was one we did with, um, in which there were two guy, I won't say which one it was, there was one with two guy characters, it was with Little Mac and Pitt. Yeah. And I did Little Mac's voice, but Pitt has a little bit more of a high-pitched voice, and I didn't know what to do for his voice, so he would sound different. Yeah. I'd rather have, you know, different people actually do different characters. Yeah. Uh, so in, I went online and I found a clip, of, I, lo I looked onto YouTube and I typed in- What the fuck? What? Oh. Whoa. You didn't know about Wait. that? No, 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 look. Boing! Boing! <laughs> it's bouncing from the door to the door. Oh, that's awesome! Holy shit, it's fucking tennis! <laughs> We're playing tennis! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jeez, sorry, that was cool. As that's fun. amazing. That was cool. Uh, sorry, <laughs> what? So, so in, instead of voicing Pit myself, I went online and I typed in male laughing and there are people who put up uh <laughs> videos of audio so i i took it and oh, i, just I put was it wondering in. about that i was like did you have another friend on there <laughs> nope oh. i just found i i credited it in my video cool uh so i don't read but you know it's uh <laughs> i yeah i noticed i watched you play metroid prime <laughs> um Ooh. it's not like i do oh, oh we're back here now I love this song. But yeah, cool. So you found another voice actor and you got his clip and you. Oh, jeez. I, I don't even know who the actor was, honestly. It was just somebody just. It's like <laughs> audio pro audio productions. We upload a video, a, a, a video with a guy laughing, and then you can use the audio clips. So yeah, I just did that. That's without the easy thing. Without royalty fees. Yeah, uh, yeah, without royalty fees. Damn, cool. Yeah, dude. 
But uh, I, mean, I guess I would prefer to actually have somebody else come in person and do it. Because it would be more fun that way, you know? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I, no, I'd love you and Jen to do some voice stuff with me. That'd be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> would Jen be up for it? I don't know. <laughs> My first gut reaction tells me no, but yeah. who knows? I figured. <laughs> but yeah, Mary, she, she showed me a video of her uh, meeting Rob Paul. Do you know the Nations of the World song from Animaniacs? Nope. United States, Canada, Mexico, oh, Panama, yep. Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. You were singing it and I said we already done that? Yeah, no, she... Yeah, no. We did the fucking states. I know. I, th I thought that's what you were doing and then I realized after that oh, came out of my oh. mouth that that's what you were doing. Yeah, so she has a video of her singing that entire song with Rob Paulson, and she has it completely memorized, and it's freaking amazing. Cool. I was just in awe. I was like, how do you have that whole thing memorized? And she said, well, you know, when you're going on road trips and you have nothing better to do, you know, I just did that once, and oh. I just memorized the whole thing. I'm like, wow, you're a god. Wow, I'm a god. Thanks, James. It's tough to be a god, but if you get the people's road to El Dorado, Oh, I've seen that once. <laughs> oh, okay. A long time ago. For some I, reason, I thought you had seen it. I don't know why. I've seen it a long time ago. <laughs> I was like, what, is this something I should know? I was just looking at him and I was like... What? What? <laughs> oh, yeah. You Barnacle still haven't seen play. a Goofy movie, man. Uh... I probably won't ever sit you down and watch a Goofy movie, though. <laughs> sit down, bitch. I told you we were recording today, but really, you're going to watch this goddamn movie if it kills you. And you're going to... Laugh and cry with Goofy and Max, motherfucker! Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. This door cannot be opened with that weapon. I don't remember what the next thing we get is, but... Do you I... know where we're supposed to... Oh, yeah, so now we're just following a straightforward path, kind right? Kind of, yeah. That's, that was, like, that's something I was, uh... Like, that's something I was confused about, like, a few episodes ago. I was like... How do I know where to go? Well, yeah, it's like, it's not always clear. I, I've heard some people, like Dunky said, you know who Dunky is? Oh, I love Dunky. He, he did a Video game Dunky. Dude, did you yeah, know dude. He, he's getting married? He is? Shout out to Video Game Dunky and Leah B. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Are, oh, is she also a content creator? That's his, uh, yeah, Girlfriend. soon to be wife. Fiance. <clears throat> yep. He, he did a review, anyways, he did a review of Samus Returns and he said, like, you know what I call it in a game? When I get freaking lost and I wander around for an hour and don't know what to do, that's what I like to call a Metroid moment. It's like, eh, okay. Well, it could be more in reference. I mean, yes, but in the oh, old geez. games, for sure. Eh, uh, um, okay. The old games are like... Labyrinths. Like, you'll just have hidden walls, like walls that just look normal, and you're just like, ah, just because I'm going to hit this one wall out of fucking 90 walls. Oh, That's yeah. why. I think he actually describes that in... I think he talked about one of the old Metroid games. Mm, okay. I could be wrong. Hmm. Probably am wrong. I wonder if Metroid Fusion is good. I might give that a try sometime. I don't know. Get that stalactite. Stalagmite stalactite. Oh, dude. Okay, I was talking to James about this off camera, and it's fascinating to me because I'm a stupid ass American. Um, <laughs> and I love fucking cheese. That's how it got started. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Stuffing my mouth full of cheese while staring at James in between episodes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> dude. Okay. That's what we do in our spare time. Yeah. Uh, fuck. So, I was listening to a podcast the other day. I really like podcasts, if that's not evident by our uh, conversations previous. It's more of a recent thing I've been getting into podcasts. I love fucking podcasts. Anyways, fuck. I'll shut up now. Uh, end of story. So, we learned <laughs> that... Uh, <laughs> We learned that, uh, fucking, I learned that, In sorry, I'm, I'm trying to fucking pay attention to the game and, and... Do you want me to say it? Uh, sure, yeah, so, go so, for it. So, um, because Elliot was talking about cheese, we talked about macaroni and cheese, and he said that... Craft macaroni and cheese. Yeah, so apparently, um, <laughs> side note, when I was a little kid, I said, crap macaroni and cheese. Got him. Instead of craft. <laughs> Got him. I said, crap, and they're like, James, don't say that, what? Crap, macaroni and cheese. Um... So yeah, apparently in Canada, uh, they call it KD. For craft dinner. Craft dinner. So I guess it's, I guess, I don't know, any Canadians watching this, you can tell me you're fucking idiotic and I'll be like, I know. Um, but I think, Did you yeah. just say Canadians are idiotic? No, I was saying they can, <laughs> I said they can call me idiotic. I know, I just misunderstood oh, what you said. Gotcha. <laughs> then I realized that. Yeah, the, didn't you say like that? Oh yeah, so. In Canada, it's like 7 million a week? Okay, so no, 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 no. In, I think I could. 
I could be fucking up my statistics here. I think worldwide mm-hmm. they sell approximately seven million craft dinners, craft mm-hmm. dinners, a week, right? So, uh, craft mac and cheese, uh, which is known as craft dinner in Canada, uh, worldwide mm-hmm. every week. Of those seven million, one million of them are from Canada alone, which wow. is pretty impressive given the population and whatnot. Cool. <clears throat> yeah. So if you like craft mac and cheese, go to Canada. And then buy it all for me.